Hi, Humanities teachers. I wanted to share a little more about South Brunswick Reads and how you can help to inspire our students to read. Many of you share my love of books, and I hope that Reading Without Walls can help our students to broaden and deepen their worldview by reading beyond their comfort zones. The following suggestions are meant to inspire. I tried to use your content areas as a springboard for some of the following reading recommendations. I'd be glad to build book lists, create digital book talks like this one, or help in any other way as you inspire our student readers with your own love of words. The first way to participate is to read a book about a character who doesn't look like you or live like you. Here's one I was excited to recommend to our students. Star Carter leads two lives, one at home in her gang-controlled Garden Heights neighborhood with her loving family, and another at her exclusive prep school. Home on spring break, Star witnesses one of her oldest friends shot by police for no reason. The lone witness to what actually happened, Star struggles to honor her friend, protect her family, and keep her two worlds separate. The themes covered are ripped from the headlines. I liked this novel so much when I read it over the summer that it is now a PLS. Join Marissa Carlisi and me in March for our PLS on The Hate You Give. If you need a copy of the book, come by the library. Love it, love it, love it. Natasha remembers nothing of her native Jamaica having arrived in New York as a child, but is now hours away from deportation. Daniel is on his way to a Yale interview on the reluctant path to become an Ivy League doctor. Thrown together by chance, Natasha and Daniel find the universe drawing them together. Given the current immigration debate, Yoon's novel gives readers hope that in the end, we will all end up where we belong. Another way to participate is to read a book about a topic that you don't know much about. In this National Book Award winner, Catherine Boo draws on three years of careful study to give readers a glimpse into the commerce and culture of a settlement cobbled together on the outskirts of Mumbai International Airport, documenting a world in which residents' difficult daily choices decide survival, but where hope for a better life is always at the core of decisions. Even those who have traveled to India will find this new world surprising in its complexity. Finally, the third way to participate is to read a book in a format that you don't normally read for fun. This might be a chapter book, a graphic novel, a book in verse, a picture book, or a hybrid book. This trilogy covers the life of civil rights hero John Lewis, from his childhood in the segregated South, to his work with the Freedom Riders, and finally to the assassinations of the 1960s, this graphic novel hooks readers immediately, revealing an important piece of history that many do not know as well as they should. In Like Water on Stone, Wall withdraws on family history to describe the genocide of over 1.5 million native Armenians by the ruling Ottoman Turks. The narrative shifts from perspective of an eagle who sees the events unfolding from above to 13-year-old twins who witness the loss of their parents in horrific terms, to other family members who add to the story. The choice of verse allows the horrific events and eloquence that does not reduce the power. So my humanities friends, what I want you to do is motivate our students to read. Read more, read more broadly, read with more interest, and read things that they wouldn't normally select. If you'd like any help with this, please stop down to the library and I'm glad to assist you in any way that I can. Students can participate by telling us what they're reading and why it breaks down the walls that they are used to as readers. You can post these in your classroom or you can return them to me and I will hang them up in the library so that we can grow as a community of readers together. You can post the sign that we share in your classroom and encourage your students to tweet about what they're reading to broaden our reading community even more. For more information about South Brunswick Reads 2018 Reading Without Walls, you can visit our PB Works page, southbrunswickreads.pbworks.com.